Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel and hello Daily Audio Bible family. I hope everyone is doing well today on the long walk day, the long awaited day to go find a special place out in nature and try to take a walk. I thought it was going to rain today, but it didn't. And check out this beautiful place that I found. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it was really a challenge and a struggle to do this. I, I really wrestled with myself, um, you know, and I, I thought of every reason in the world why I shouldn't come out here, but I did it and I made it and I'm here and I'm so thankful. So I hope everyone's doing well. God bless you, Brian and Jill and your family. Peace. I'm here at the park and I've just really discovered something truly amazing and what I have discovered is that I'm going to start coming to this park on a regular basis this is the perfect park to come and hang out at like truly um, it's amazing let me show you the view and there's a nature center it's amazing let me show you the view. and then there's these nice little trails you can just walk on for exercise and it's surrounded by tons of woods like this is 10 times better than the park that I went to a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't really have a good vibe about the other park. This one is more open, it's more uh, family friendly, and it's more out in the open and so forth compared to the other one, which was kind of, um, it was kind of scary. I mean, it was just up on top of a mountain and there was nobody around except some strangers that were kind of creeping me out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this time of the year, this place is amazing. I mean, truly, how do you like my dollar sunglasses? I paid a dollar for these at the Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe it. I mean, they look kind of funny on me, I guess because I'm not used to them, but they're great glasses. I mean, they're really high-powered UV glasses for a dollar. But um, what I was going to say is the lighting has to be right or I look like total poop. Um, that this place is truly amazing and I'm going to try to start coming here. I, When I first got here, I felt so tired. I really couldn't figure out what it was. I was just like... I was sitting on the trail, I could not get motivated, and I was like, I w had brought a juice, and I was gonna save it until after um, I walked on the trail. I thought, you know, that'll be my treat. Well, after I sat there forever, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna drink my juice now, because I need it. So I went and I drank half of it, and it was just like I got this jolt of energy, and I was just like, and I had actually been contemplating to stop juicing and to go back on the diet that I was on before, which was um, like, you know, a bodybuilding diet, like where I was eating um, an egg in the morning on a, a couple of eggs over easy on a piece of bread and with some cheese and some turkey on top. And it was like really doing some hardcore muscle building and going to the gym and then coming back and having um, 
you know, a meal like that or, you know, having food afterwards, like at oatmeal and stuff. I, I did that for like a couple of months, maybe a month, but, um, I stopped doing that because it just seemed like I really got clogged up and I started experiencing the eye infections. So for me, that type of diet really didn't work. So I was actually considering doing that and I'm glad I've had these reflections. And the reason I did this today, this, um, this walk today, it's, it was for the Daily Audio Bible, which is the Daily Audio Bible Long Walk. And they have this long walk um, like every, um, every year they do it. And you can, you know, post your long walk, pictures of your long walk, where you went, and um, so forth on the Daily Audio Bible Facebook page. Well, um, I didn't have my Facebook page up and running, so, um, and I didn't want to put it on my personal profile page, so I was just like, hmm, so I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, um, about that, but anyway, I'm glad I came on the walk, which is truly amazing, because th I did this today for God, like, this was for God, this whole thing was like a walk with God, and it's just like, I'm glad I did it because the Lord did speak to me about, you know, I was contemplating changing my diet back and it was just like, I started realizing, you know, I don't want to go back to that. I want to keep doing the juice. When I got that jolt of energy from the juice, I was like, this juice is amazing. And then I started, um, reflecting on my skin my skin has changed since, since I've been massively juicing like I have been experiencing so much I was my skin was so dry it was insane how dry my skin was before I started uh, drinking the juice so there is definitely something to the juice on hydration and getting my skin and healing my skin because I was really worried about my skin like it was just so dry and it didn't matter how much water I drank it was just, or taking vitamins and stuff like that you know that that diet that bodybuilding diet which was mostly um, I was doing oatmeal I was doing um, you know, fish. I was eating a lot of meat products and I wasn't eating. I mean, it seems like every time I do start eating like that, I deviate so much away from the, um, from the healthy foods. Like it seems like I'm either all or nothing. Like it's so hard. I don't know. Last night, I, I mean, I have been basically doing juices a lot of juice like I've been doing like two or three juices a day and and then to help cut my cravings and try to heal my digestion and then I've been eating a meal at night whether it be like fruit and a salad or but it's mostly just been vegetables and fruit and um, and last night um, I didn't really have my uh, fruit or I did have a lot of fruit but I didn't do a salad I did like some cauliflower and avocado and tomato and um, I'm gonna upload that recipe because it was a really good recipe but afterwards I was still really hungry and I was just so hungry so like I made two eggs and I had not made any eggs in a long time like a really long, it's been probably a month I've been doing this solo raw and juicing and so forth and so like um, I mean, the last egg I had was on a salad, and that was about a month ago. I just chopped up a small. So I've been deviating away because of my eye infection. Like, my eye, my eyes were, like, fried. I mean, like, I kept getting this, like, pus in them. It was freaked out. Like, I was just like, what is going on? And then I kept getting those eye infections. I need to do a video on that because I took pictures of my eye. It looked like somebody had punched me 
in the face. So I don't know, like it's really hard to find a middle ground. It seems like it's either all or nothing at this point, but I'm gonna drink a little bit of juice. But I got these really cool lids on Dan McDonald's uh, YouTube channel, um, on his uh, website, actually on his website. I went on there and I ordered these off of Amazon, off his YouTube channel to try to help support him. But really I wanted the lids. I mean, who are we kidding? But I mean, you know, I'm, I can't buy things, you know, unless I need them. I have kids and the whole nine yards, but I did buy his, um, his his uh, program and it's really good it's a great program it's was loaded with so much info I I can't even like tag tackle it <laughs> it's like so much and I don't have that much time because I'm really trying to plug into nature um, healing and juicing and my channel and trying to upload my own progress and stay centered because uh, you know it's just I mean you know documenting like what I'm eating what I'm doing and all this stuff I, I feel like it's a bit narcissistic and like my family my son kind of makes fun of me and everything for it but you know he doesn't understand where I'm coming from like my healing journey like I have to really stay accountable to this because um, you know it's just not gonna work like I've got to stay focused on what's going on I mean this is like serious and uh, you know it's it's I don't want to die of cancer like the way my digestion is and the way I have my prolapsed organs and everything like okay some runners came by but um, you know I really um, you know I mean it, it could make or break me if I don't really stay focused on what's going to heal my body because um you know it's it's pretty serious what happened to me my accident and everything and uh because i had some muscle deterioration from trauma and uh you know i i really want to get that taken care of because um and get it healed because uh, you know my my condition can either go forward or it can go backward and it all depends on what I'm eating and what I'm doing and so forth so it's pretty serious and uh, that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel is not only to document my healing process but to put it out there to where people can see what I'm doing I mean you know, I haven't had any surgery and I'm a functional person with this condition. A lot of people aren't as functional and they have to have the surgery and so forth. So, um, it is something to be mindful of, but, um, yeah. But, you know, I just want to say, um, I definitely don't have all the answers and, um, uh, I'm just going with the flow my body what my body is doing and what someone else's body is doing is two different things and it's really you know just finding the right tools and connecting to your own body that is the key that is the key you know is connection to your body because I feel like in this society that we live in and if you live in community or if you have family there's always especially if you have children and you're married or I mean anybody it work can do this to you but life pulls you away from yourself it can and some people are good at managing that and some people aren't I mean I feel like, you know, I have to to go to the park to get, I mean, this has been great therapy for me today. 
to get away from, you know, my life that it just seems like I'm drowning in, literally. You know, it's a challenge. And uh, it's just, somebody is always wanting you to do something for them. I mean, it's always something. If it's not one thing, it's another. And this is just great to get away. It really is. Coming to this part, I like trying to come here was like a wrestling contest. Like no joke, I literally drove to another park that was near my house that wasn't the park that I planned to and almost self-sabotaged myself because once I got there, I was like, this sucks. This is not shady. It was like right out in the sun. I was like, I can't do this. It's not going to work. So I had to drive all the way back around. To where this was and so that was like you know 10 miles out of the way and then when I got here I self self sabotaged myself a couple of times I mean I was my worst enemy here trying to get here to this point to sit by this river in the shade and where it's nice and cool and it's just amazing like this is amazing and I had the fear of like, oh, coming out here by myself, somebody might, you know, rape me. <laughs> you know, you, my son and my daughter and everybody's like, oh, you better be careful, you know, watch out. And I'm like, I'll be okay, you know? Everybody's like f making me paranoid. It's ridiculous. And then it dawned on me when I was driving here, you know, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear is our worst enemy. It really truly is. But, um, it's true. The sun's wearing me out right here now. Oh, that's better. But this is really nice. It really is. And I'm so glad that I did this today. But my battery is getting low. And I'm sure I'm boring everybody to death. <laughs> with my normal drama. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures to share with you the beauty of this place. It's really amazing. And if I don't say anything else... Thank you so much for uh, subscribing, or please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate all the people that comment and everything. <laughs> I'm going to start crying. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. I really do. The people that watch. I mean, <laughs> oh, well, I hope you have a wonderful day, and... If this is the first time watching, please subscribe, like, share this information with anybody you know. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Put her hand on my leg. Yeah. Look up. Found some blackberries. They're not ripe yet. <laughs>